Good morning. Happy Thursday. I am up here this morning back on our little morning trail we found and walking with this guy there. So I have to keep up. I'm going to practice walking and talking at the same time on rock. So <laughs> bear with me. Ah, I am, maybe I'm just going to let you see my views this morning. Let you see our absolute gorgeous morning. It's about 48 degrees. The sun is warm. Sun feels good. The mountains are gorgeous. The trail is awesome. We're up here on top of the ridge. We got the sun beating on us. We got the cactus. And we got a lot of exciting things going on today. I'm hoping to connect with some family here in the valley. Excited about the day. What are you excited about? What's going on in your life? This morning I've been thinking, haha, <laughs> imagine. The obstacle is the way. And for so many of us, the obstacles that we face is the internal dialogue in our head, in our heart, in our mind. It's the internal voices that tell us we can't, we're not good enough, kind of make you feel like you're fraud, right? All these things that tell us it's for someone else and not for us. And we live in those mindsets and those mindsets are so toxic for creating the life you want to create. So I posted earlier today and I'm kind of going on that same topic is whatever you are in a tendency to believe, your beliefs about anything is where your brain wants to create evidence of whatever you are believing. So if I wanted to believe that I'm not capable of doing something, my brain is going to do everything it can to find evidence to prove me right. You heard that. Our reticular activating system starts to seek out everything that wants to give you evidence that you can't. And if you make a decision that you're going to do something and you're going to learn and you're going to find new ways and you're gonna create new paths, your brain is also gonna start working for you to help you create those things. That reticular activating system, do you know like when you decide you're gonna go buy a certain car, color, make, model, and all of a sudden everything you see is a car you see over and over and over and over. And it's because your brain now is training to seek it out. So when we want to make changes in our life, we have to shift mindset and we have to be okay with the negative pity party, whatever going on in our head. And we have to say, not today. I'm not gonna let you take over my being. I am gonna conquer the desires of my heart. I am gonna conquer and I'm gonna take this beauty in. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for hikes. I'm looking for ways to be in nature. I'm looking for things that are important to me. Faith, family, placing my energy and being grounded in earth. I'm finding the path because I'm choosing to believe that I can. And it starts with a choice. We get to decide every morning the course of our day, our attitude, if I want to be happy or sad or grumpy or grouchy, the attitude starts within us, in our heart and in our mind, and what it is I want. So I'm just putting that out there to you today. 
you have the power within you to change and shape your destiny, your destination. You have the power within you. You already are great. Everything you need to conquer your dreams is already within you. It's a matter of, do you believe it? Do you feel it? And then when you make a decision that you want that, your next step is to take the very next step in the, co in the direction of the life you want to create. And it is in the daily, consistent actions that changes happen, changes happen in our life. It isn't an overnight. It's not a once and done. It's a constant decision. It's a decision that I have chose to make every day. I want every day to be my best day. So I wake up with that intention that today is going to be my best day. How about you?